Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to have a quick look and review of the Mares Flexa 543 men's wetsuit that we've got available on our website. These last few suits that we've got are currently on clear out, uh, meaning that we've only got extenuating sizes so the really smalls and the, the really really large ones just check on the website and you'll see which sizes we have available but these are the last of these wetsuits that we've got and myself and the supplier have spoken and we just want to get them out and get them cleared out to you so let's just go through the benefits and features of the the suit itself so this is the flexa 543 meaning flexa that it's a very flexible wetsuit it's made of an a grade neoprene making it super super flexible the 543 meaning over the chest you've got a 5 mil section of neoprene as you go over the shoulders and the thighs it's a 4 mil neoprene and then as you go down to the arms and the ankles it drops to a 3 mil neoprene so you get warmth where you really need it on your core and then it's a lot thinner towards your extremities but that makes it much easier to get in and out of so that's the Morris Flexo 543 you can see this wetsuit is made up of a number of panels Marius have been really good at always making very ergonomic type uh, wetsuits in the fact that it's not one piece of neoprene, it's lots of panels sewed together. So you see you've got a chest section over here, a section for the, the shoulder, then over the, the top of the arm, and then over the elbow, and then the forearm. So this makes it a lot more comfortable to wear. Quite often with those B-grade type wetsuits, you find when you put them on, you're like, ah, scarecrow. But with these ones, because it's got so many different panels on it, it's quite ergonomic. You can bend your arms up, so it makes it a lot more comfortable uh, when you're on the dive itself is also before the dive getting on and off the boats so you know it's more comfortable to wear so that goes through the, the the suit but as we go down the front section and all the panels we can see over the knee and shin section it's got a different type of material here um, so instead of having the smooth neoprene at the top they've got a padded neoprene here so it makes like a knee pad over there which goes down to the shin itself so this will protect the wetsuit should you bump it accidentally on a piece of coral or on the side of the boat when you're getting on and off that allows a little bit more wear there as well and that's available on both the left and the right leg um, if we flip the wetsuit over as far as the back section is concerned there's a number of panels which go down the, the back as well you see a the knee section over here they've got some little indents over there that just make it a lot more ergonomic for the back of your knee when you're kneeling down or when you're swimming as well just as far as the extremities on the ankles and the, the wrists are concerned, if we open it up, we can see it comes with what they call this graphite seal. So it's almost like a titanium graphite paint that they've put on the wrists as well as on the, the ankles over there. So that makes like a semi-dry type seal which stops or reduces, reduces I should say, water movement through the suit itself. So just keeping you a little bit warmer. One of the things I'd like to point out that however with these suits, you do need to be a bit more careful when you put them on. If you're really rushing and you jam that suit on and your heel gets pushed into the back section over here you can sometimes burst this bottom section over here the uh, suppliers unfortunately see that as abuse because you're being a very naughty boy trying to put this on too quickly so you just need to make sure you put it on slowly or use the old surface trick where you take a checkers or a Woolworths packet and put that over your hands and your feet and that just slides it on through makes it much easier to get in and out of so there's my little top tip for this video as far as the the back section the zips concerned it's got a really high quality YKK zip at the back and this tag um, at the back of it to make it easy for you to zip up and zip down. I would advise that it's always a good idea to get your buddy to help zip you up so you arch your back and get your buddy to zip up for you. Sometimes if you pull this too tight you put a necessary strain at the base of the zip over here and that can sometimes break it. Also seen as abuse by the suppliers. One of the nice little accents that they're putting here I really like is this little bum tag over here. Reason for that is once you've zipped the wetsuit up this little velcro section can touch on the back over there and that sort of holds it and stops it from flapping about any of you guys that have been on the boats to Aliwal Shoal in Sudwana Bay, have you ever been uh, in the receiving end where you're sitting behind someone with a wetsuit with one of these toggles that zipped it all up and then this is now flapping about in the wind and it beats you in the eye and the ear and that really really hurts, bugs me a lot. So obviously this is a really good thing that you can stick it on so it doesn't go flapping about. If you don't have one of these, please cut it off. Um, and then that covers that section. But when we open up the suit itself, you can see it has a little overlap panel over there. So that just overlaps over the zip itself. So when you zip it up, it just reduces the amount of water getting over onto your spine. Uh, on the neck seal, it has that graphite titanium type paint as well. And then it's got this really funky um, custom closure section. So it's like a plastic piece of 
Velcro, but that goes around the neck section over here, which has got the softer Velcro on it. So that just closes the wetsuit up quite nicely around your neck and then keeps you quite nice and warm. On the inside, it's got a nice, like very fine plush lining on the on the inside there. And they, they refer to it as it's written over here, it's a Thermo flare plush that they put in the It's not a thick plush, but it does hold some of the water against you there, which makes it really, really comfortable. So that's the inside of the, the suit itself. So overall, I think it's a really, really good suit. Morris have moved on to a number of other different designs uh, since the launch of this one, but Overall, I think this is a really, really good value for money. Considering the price we've got it out on the website, it's really, really good quality. You're not going to go wrong with it if you are lucky enough to be one of the ones that fits into the few available sizes that we've got left on our website. So you guys must go check that out. So there's my review of the Mares Flexa 543 wetsuit available on clearance on our website. The last few of them, you must just uh, grab them while you can. So if you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out our social streams. The main one being facebook.com forward slash scuba.ca.za. We've also got Instagram, Twitter and all the rest. We keep you up to date with all of it. Uh, and then we'll keep you up to date with you know, trips and travels and specials and promos and all the other cool things that we've got on the go. And it'd be really cool to hear from you if you want to leave some comments in the links below. So uh, that's it from me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.